your new 7000 series cart, if you have a saddle tank and the load cells, you would have it integrated in where it can actually communicate from the load cells on the tank back to the X35. So for example, I'll move it over to our canola tank. So that's our tank five. It displays the recorded weight. So mine is showing 0.6 pounds. So there is a Digistar monitor located on the tank. So the Digistar also displays that 0.5 pounds in our tank number five. So that would be similar. So there's a bit of setup stuff you should know you can do setup stuff through the monitor on the tank, but we'll show you how to do the setup stuff you need to do in the X35. So off of the operating screen, lower left hand corner, we'll touch the wrench tender setup. First, we're gonna to go to systems, features, implement, and we'll enable the weigh scales, make sure they're enabled. Then we can move over to implement, cedar, weigh scales. So we click here to detect the new ECU. We'll just first go out and then back in again and click connect and it found it. From time to time to lock in a new setting, you have to go to the operator page and then back in to connect. So it detected it. Let's get rid of that alarm. So always remember that when something doesn't work as you desired and exit the setup and then back in again and try it again. It locks in the settings. So now I'll go implement, cedar, weigh scales, scales. So we have two groups of scales. We have tanks one, two, three, and four are all on the main part of the cart and we group them all together, right? So that's A. They're all lumped in the same. We have our tank five, that's our saddle tank that has four individual scales on it and they're grouped together to create one channel. So we've got channel A and channel B. Assignments. Our canola tank is going to tanks one and that's going to B. So scale one B and it's measured. Because these are all affecting each other, tanks one through four affect each other, we have to have them at calculated. So calculate them down together and extrapolates the percentage differences. Now we're gonna move over to this one that's saying the pressure compensation. So what that is, is a value of the air pressure forcing the tank up coming from our fans. So when our fans are engaged, it actually lifts this tank a little bit. We've calculated that out to be 22 pounds. There is really no reason you should have to change that. The only place you may want to change that is if for some reason your tank was lifting at a different rate. Really, you should leave it where it is at factory default. Uh, back to the operating screen. Now we can see, we'll go back to that canola tank. There's our 0.6 pounds. That's the, the weight. And whenever there's a differential of how much product it thinks it should have used as opposed to how much product it actually used, because it's a measured tank, it's actually gonna give you an alarm. Okay, to get some setup features of your scales that you can't get at through the regular channels, you go to the setup button, systems, features, console, and up at the top, it's called Universal Terminal. We'll enable it. You don't need that enabled for day-to-day -day function, but when it's enabled, you actually have a new mini view icon that pops up over here. This actually shows that same saddle tank and the same total on tank uh, one through four. Right, so there's our saddle. Expanding it over this way allows you to get into the setup menus.